but I need some lessons. Hey, hey, cancers, y'all! I'm back with another video. So yes, it has been definitely been a few weeks since I have posted, but I'm back, guys. I'm back and better than ever. All right, so let's talk about September. Let's see what messages we got for the month of September for my crab <laughs> for the cancers. All right, so if you um, happen to resonate with this reading, all the better because it is a general read. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, be sure to like, hit the like button, give me some energetic. Um, show this channel some love energetically by hitting the like button as well as sharing with your family and your friends and if you're new to the channel you can click the bell to subscribe all right you don't want to miss out on future videos so let's talk cancers and see what messages we got for you give me a love message for my cancers please some love messages for cancer And this is for cancer, please. Oh, no, that's just too many. That's just way too many. There we go. So, I look for you everywhere. I look for you everywhere. So, somebody's wondering if you're happy without them. All right. So, maybe you guys walked away from someone. But they're looking for you. <laughs> the timing just wasn't right for us. And I hope that you could forgive me. So, this person... It's hoping for forgiveness, okay? Like, they're like, dang, I hope cancer forgives me one day. <sighs> but damn, I'm looking for cancer right now. And now they're also feeling like maybe the timing just wasn't right um, between you two. All right? It's just something about timing here. Give me another message. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. <laughs> So, this person thinks about you a lot. This person thinks about you a lot. Like, they look for you. They're, not only are they looking for you, trying to bump into you, and, you know, trying to bump into you, um, going to your favorite spots, trying to see if you're there. Not only are they looking for you, they think about you all the time. So, like, you're constantly on this person's mind. They're just feeling like maybe the timing was off, okay? Like, is, is it a bad time to get in, to reach out to cancer? Is it just, is it the timing wrong? Let me know what's going on type of energy. Hmm. Tell me more. I am not available. So, this person is feeling like you're not available right now. They feel like you acting like you don't want to mess with them. <laughs> I want you. Yeah, this person <laughs> this person wants you, but they feel like you aren't available. <laughs> they feel like you are not available. I remember every detail of that day. <coughs> they remember every detail about whatever this whatever happened. It's like they just can't forget it. They can't get it off their mind. They can't get you off their mind. <laughs> they're waiting for a sign from you and says I will wait for a sign from, from you um, but this person like is trying to reach out to you or trying to get your attention in some way shape or form but they're feeling like you're not available they're feeling like you're not available like you aren't showing any interest in them <laughs> it's like you just like cut them off in some way shape or form you're not giving them any type of attention Is it like is it is it because it's a bad time right now? Let me know what's going on. They want to get to know. I'm I'm getting I'm starting to understand our connection, and finding out some type of truth crushed them. And this person also knows that they crossed the line with you. They know that they overstepped a the boundary. They know that they overstepped some type of boundary. 
But it's like now this person wants to understand the connection. They could have treated you, treated you, you know, all types of ways. And now it's like that you're not available. Now it's like they want to be up under you. They want attention from you. They want to, you know, do all of that. But it's like, do I want that shit right now? <laughs> do I really want that right now? Because like when I wanted it, it's like you weren't giving it to me. All right, so. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about Cancer's person, please. Tell me more about Cancer's person. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. So it looks like this person could have like some control issues for one. They got control issues. Um this person also needs to work on like how to love themselves. Or this person always puts themselves first. They could be kind of selfish. Then we got separation. So it's like a separation. Maybe you're separated from this person. But this person wants to give this connection another shot. Yeah, this person is codependent. They could have like addictions or have like an obsessive behavior type of issue. But for sure, for sure, this person wants to come back around. They want to reconcile with you. There's an attraction here. They're very attracted to you. They want to get closer to you. They want to get to know you on a deeper level. But this person definitely wants to come back around and try to give this relationship a chance. They want to give this relationship a chance. They want to work on this. But, like I said, this person has, like, some control issues. Like, I feel like you and this person are possibly currently in a separation like, you guys aren't seeing each other, aren't really, like, around each other like that. But now it's like this person wants to give this relationship a chance. <laughs> like, I feel like maybe they were putting themselves first, putting their friends first, like, putting other things before you. Um, and then you guys went through some type of separation. Now they want to come back around. Now they want to get closer. Now they want to be, uh, you know, like clingy cling towards you and i feel like you're like uh, where does come from because you wasn't even doing all this you wasn't even doing all this before <laughs> all right so let's find out let's see what else we can find out about your person what does cancer need to know about this Cancer need to know about this person. What does Cancer need to know about this person? What does Cancer need to know about that person? We got the Hierophant. The Seven of Wands and the Fool. All right, so Hierophant is Taurus, it's energy. You could be dealing with the Taurus or an Aries. I'm getting like somebody is starting to think about balance. Like this person is trying to think, is like, Starting to think about ways to balance the situation and try to have peace in the situation. Like, is I feel like it's, but I feel like this energy is like coming out all of a sudden. All right, now we got the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, they're, this person is trying to balance the situation out. Could be dealing with the Libra. They're trying to come back around. Um,. They do want to move forward with you. Like, they want to see some progress um, coming towards you. I do see them come towards you. And then I, I also see them spying, like, looking to see what changes you've made. Like, what what's different? Like, they're, like, observing you to see what type of changes you've made. Someone here could be married but behave single with the Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles here. Tell me more. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in the Hierophant? 
I mean, yeah, two of swords, yeah. See, somebody, this person can't really make up their mind, okay? They're evaluating the situation. Um, I'm getting, like, reevaluating the situation. They want to tell you how they feel from here on out. So maybe they want to be more open and communicate more. But I'm getting like this person could have been juggling two relationships. Like this person could have been living double. I'm getting like a double life. I'm seeing that as well. Why is, tell me more about this person. Yeah, see the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Lots of indecision and lots of like this person can't make up their mind like they have a lot of things in front of them a lot of different options and the options doesn't necessarily have to be people but it could just be a lot of different other things going on that they haven't told you about yeah okay so it's something about a decision they feel like they need to be honest and they need to make a decision that there has been some deception going on there has been some deception going on. For sure, for sure. There's been some deception going on with the Seven of Swords. Queen of Pentacles could be with the Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Five of Swords. The situation turned out bad. Situation that turned out bad. So they now that a situation turned out bad, now they want to come fix and balance everything out, balance things out here. Okay, so now we got the Seven of Wands. The King of Cups. They feel like they're... This person is going through some type of... Like, they're heartbroken about some type of... Some situation. Somebody walked away, okay? The Queen of Cups could be a Pisces. Definitely a Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio. But I'm getting Pisces with this Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. Somebody walked away from them. This person is real, real deal heartbroken. So, they got left. It looks like they got left and now they want to try to come and fix things with you. Somebody here is looking for stability with the Hermit and the Four of Wands. Somebody's looking for stability, but somebody is like taking a long time to get to the Four of Wands stage. Like somebody is like maybe coming with coming with the offer, but the offer may be taking a while. Like it may be taking a while to maybe taking a while for this offer to manifest itself your person is sitting over here heartbroken why is the three of swords here over another situation ten of wands somebody got dropped somebody got dropped yeah this was a this now has your person feeling guarded and wounded <laughs> this person now has this person feeling guarded and wounded okay so it looks like they thought the grass is greener somewhere else and now they want to come back or they're coming back wounded they're coming back wounded okay now we got the fool here this person feels like a fool why is the fool here six of wands And the Empress. All right, so it looks like I'm getting some. Um, okay, it looks like it looks like things are going to like slow down. We got the chariot and the knight of pentacles. It looks like things are going to start slowing down. Like they're going to start slowing down. I'm getting like there's a bunch of a bunch of other suitors with the five of wands and the empress. I'm getting like there's a slow down. Okay, so it looks like they're trying to slow all of this down. Like they're slowing down on certain things yeah the world like they're closing out a ch they're closing out chapters they're closing out chapter or chapters could be a fire sign leo sagittarius aries 
Yep, Seven of Swords. Your person is going to be like, look, I'm done with all these other people. I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done. Okay, so now they're coming with the offer. They're coming with an offer because they know that's the right thing to do. They're spying. They're watching. I feel like they're embarrassed. I feel like they're embarrassed. Like, they're embarrassed. We got the five principles and the moon. Like, they feel left out in the cold. They feel rejected. They feel embarrassed. I feel like they feel stupid. They feel stupid. They feel dumb. They feel... <laughs> they feel used. They feel stupid. They feel foolish. Now they want to find balance with you. Now they want to come and find balance with you. After they thought the grass is greener on the other side. I feel like they got walked, they got, <coughs> they got thrown to the wolves. Now they're back. Let's get some advice. Y'all got to let me know what's going on in the comment section with this one. Tell me more. Tell me more. Give me some advice for my cancer, please. Give me some advice. Ask for help from others. Ask your angels. So definitely, it's about asking, should you choose a new direction? Is this the direction that you want to take? Because it looks like the ball is in your court. Is this the direction that you want to take? You're asking other people, like, what should I do? Ask your angels. Angels are saying, look, come to me. We got no need to worry. So there's, I feel like the ball is in your court. I feel like the ball is in your court. Yeah, see, it's ask for help for others and choose a new direction. There's something that you need to reconsider. Okay, this person is going to want to come and compromise with you. And like I said, try to find some type of balance with you. Some of you are going to be saying, look, yes, yes, yes. This is something I've been waiting on. I've been waiting for this. Let's, you know, try to work this out. I feel like this gives you a chance to recover from a situation. I feel like some of you may be recovering from a from this situation. Okay, or need time to recover. Some of you need some time to recover. Some of you haven't gotten over um, the way that this person treated you. Big happy changes, yep. Yeah? So it's saying no need to worry, big happy changes. So it looks like some changes is going to be made, okay? But some for some, the changes aren't going to be made until you kick this person to the curb and let go. Some of you is not going to be changed. Is the changes aren't going to occur until you let go of the past and what this person did to you. Because I feel like some of you are going to decide to take your person back um, and give this another shot. Some of y'all are like, no, I need to let this go. Compromise. I did not tell you. This person is going to want to come around and communicate and they want to compromise now. Now they want to compromise. Now they want to compromise now. After they done tested out the waters elsewhere and the water was too hot. So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Alright, so if this message resonates with you guys, be sure to like, share with your family and your friends. And if you're new, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe and become part of a part of the Empress Empire. Alright, and ciao for now guys.